course you're uncertain, Cal, naturally. So was I, till I met him. But now imagine, if you can, a life without uncertainty, freedom from doubt, the ability to choose, single-mindedness. One life from each of us, Cal, is all he has. And he rewards our devotion a thousandfold. Personal desires, oh yes, of course, anything. That's part of it. It's only the beginning. There was a time, Cal, when man was at one with the gods. Before the fall. Now we're at one again. Cal. Cal. We want you to join us. For centuries, hell and Satan have been inextricably intertwined. According to the Christian tradition, the devil both watches over hell and entices us to join him there. The quickest path to hell is doing Satan's bidding here on earth. The devil has many ancestors. Ancient faiths were guided by an array of spirits, angels, ghosts, and goblins. Two deities foreshadowed later imagery of the devil, Seth, the Egyptian crimson god of the underworld, and Pan, the Greek mythological half-man, half-beast with cloven hooves who ruled sexual desire. The overt biblical birth of Satan is described in the book of Revelation. Lucifer, the light bearer, is one of God's most beautiful and beatific angels. But his hubris drives Lucifer to challenge God. Lucifer and his warrior angels engage the army of God, led by the archangel Michael. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil, or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. Lucifer is joined in exile by his legion of watcher angels, one-third of all the stars in God's heavenly court. God grants him dominion over hell, from where he schemes to avenge his fall from grace. The devil used to be an angel. That's why he's called the first of the fallen. You ask a holy type and they'll tell you the soul is the purest expression of God's love the spark of creation. Every time the first takes a soul, he's exacting revenge, paying back the Almighty for casting him out. Paradise Lost retells the story of Lucifer's fall from heaven. In this version, Satan is a romantic hero brought low by his pride. The story opens with a dramatic landscape of hell. The rebel angels are defeated and demoralized until Lucifer rouses them. Here we may reign secure and in my choice. To reign is worth ambition, though in hell. Better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Paradise lost. A magnificent leader, Milton Satan cannot bring himself to atone to God for leading an insurrection. Him. The almighty power hurled headlong flaming from the ethereal sky, with hideous ruin and combustion down to bottomless perdition, there to dwell in adamantine chains and penal fire, who durst defy the omnipotent to arms. Satan, the once radiant Lucifer and the highest angel in heaven, lays in a formless sulfurous lake of fire surrounded by his band of angels. They have just been hurled out of heaven and have plummeted down through space into the bottomless pit of hell. Now, after nine days unconscious, Satan and his demons awake and recover from their confusion. Nine times the space that measures day and night to mortal men, he with his horde crew lay vanquished, rolling in the fiery gulf, confounded though immortal. But his doom reserved him to more wrath, for now the thought both of lost happiness and lasting pain torments him. Round he throws his baleful eyes that witness huge affliction and dismay, mixed with obdurate pride and steadfast hate, 
at once as far as angels can he views. The dismal situation, waste and wild, a dungeon horrible on all sides round, as one great furnace flame, yet from those flames no light, but rather darkness visible. Satan resolves that his salvation shall be his strength. To be weak, he says, is to be miserable, and obedience to the will of God is weakness. This weakness must be repudiated. Evil will be his good, and to do evil rather than good shall be the sole task of him and his followers. Darkness served only to discover sights of woe, regions of sorrow, doleful shades where peace and rest can never dwell. Hope never comes that comes to all, but torture without end still urges, and a fiery deluge fed with ever-burning sulfur unconsumed. Such place eternal justice had prepared, for those rebellious here their prison ordained in utter darkness, and their portion said as far removed from God and light of heaven as from the center thrice to the utmost pole. He rejoices in his new freedom of mind, for the mind is its own place, and in itself can make a heaven of hell or a hell of heaven. But Satan and his demons have been used to living in the glory of heaven, and they find their new home horrifying. There, the companions of his fall, overwhelmed with floods and whirlwinds of tempestuous fire, he soon discerns and weltering by his side, one next himself in power and next in crime, long after known in Palestine and named Beelzebub, to whom the archenemy and thence in heaven called Satan, with bold words breaking the horrid silence thus began. Oh, how I have fallen so far, once bright in the heavenly realms. Beelzebub, you join me in that glorious enterprise, but now we are only joined in misery. God cast us so low. Do I repent or change? My appearance has changed, but my mind remains unfaltered. I still believe his utmost power should be opposed. All is not lost. The unconquerable will, how can we not overcome? We must keep hope to wage eternal war against the tyranny of heaven. Oh, my prince, my chief whom I followed into war, whether we were kept alive by strength, chance, or fate, we have lost heaven, and we are probably kept alive only to suffer. He wants us to serve his will in eternal punishment. Rest assured, we will never serve his will. Our task will always be that opposite of good and to cause suffering. And if his will is for us to do evil only to bring forth good, then we will stop that good from coming. We must think how we can revenge God, and how we can conquer the gates of heaven. We must gather an army. Is this the place? Is this our new heaven? This gloomy cove exchanged for that celestial light? Be it so. From now on, whatever he considers right, we will do the opposite. Farewell, happy fields. Welcome, hell. I am your new ruler. I can make a heaven of hell, and I will make hell out of heaven. God has made me better, for here I am free and not his servant above. For it is better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Why do our allies lie there in this oblivious pool? Leader, if you just speak to them, you will give them new life and they will rise to fight as they have done before. Princes, potentates, warriors, the flower of heaven once yours now lost. Yet you lie around groveling. Awake, arise, or be forever fallen. After his fall from the throne of heaven, Lucifer led the other angels to the black void of the universe and declared this chaotic dimension their new home. This chaotic universe that these fallen angels inhabited, a place called hell by most, was ever changing. The things contemplated on in the minds of the angels came instantly into being. This chaotic realm became a reflection of the collective consciousness of the fallen angels. So objects would appear and disappear at random and there was no order. In his death, Jesus Christ fulfilled everything necessary to set us free from this fallen reality. Although we get glimpses of beauty in the world we live in, 
These all serve as mere reminders of the absolute love and life that as humanity we rejected. The direction we chose to follow led us into the clutches of time and space. A never-ending cyclical trap that requires death to sustain life. In choosing to reject our father, we were lured into a trap, a prison without bars, into a kingdom ruled by Satan, the god of cycles, the Ouroboros. And as a result, we are all in the fallen flesh, the very desires and cravings of which are directly opposed to our creator. We are all in a cell. The Bible tells us that Satan is the god of this fallen world, the master of the dualistic paradigm that is our flesh. Astrologically, Saturn is the embodiment of the satanic machine, of which we all bear the hallmarks in this material reality. We are all imprisoned in the cube or square or box. We, as finite human beings, are all trapped by time, by space. We're all in here. And beyond here is the Father. Beyond here, outside of time, is the Father, the Creator the creator of all, the true, uh, timeless source. And we're trapped in this box with the, the rest of the fallen as well. Um, but Christ had to come in as the key, unlock the box and blast it open, which is fantastic. I mean, that's fantastic news at the end of the day, because Christ defeated the cube like this, which is the way, the truth and the life, because Christ, Christ is the light of life. Um, he's not just the visible light which is still within here in the finite he is beyond we are all in a cell we are in a prison cell now there's two meanings to this because we are also in the flesh which is the cell that is our prison this is our prison the flesh is our prison we will die in the flesh. We have no choice, not one person has a choice. So this is the nature of our cell. We are part of the curse. We are born in the curse. We are born in the flesh. And um, so we are born antichrist. So this is the problem that we're in. This is why we shouldn't, we're told, you know, don't live by the flesh. Because if you live by the flesh, you are living by a satanic nature. You are um, uh, guided by your satanic nature. And this is where Satanism and nature comes in. This is why they worship nature, because this is the Antichrist. Worshipping the Time Lord finite is Antichrist, because Christ is the timeless one. So, we're the flesh, we're all cursed, until we call upon Christ to break that curse, which has already been completed, but unlike the evil side, which tricks us into giving it praise, Christ and the Father are the opposite to that. They don't trick you or deceive you into channeling your energy towards them. They wait patiently for you to make the choice. Um, as to whether to take the key out of here or whether to stay in here and be destroyed by death. 